Welcome, folks. Here we have the Tuesday No Football, No Problem crew. And we're here to dissect some of the developments that happened this week around the league. Not just on the field, but also off the field as well. That's right. Outside the lines, baby. <laughs> First, we start with some reports coming from TMZ that the reigning league MVP, Chip Vanderwhite, was caught tripping his grandmother when they got in an argument outside of a Costco. Guys, uh, when you hear these reports coming out about the MVP, uh, what, do you, what do you think? Look, this is an issue. It is. It is. It is definitely an issue because elderly people must be respected. I love them. My grandma's elderly, so you know. But as a former QB, I think one has to marvel at how this guy can trip his grandmother in the morning and then have the focus to pass 385 yards, four touchdowns, and no picks. I mean, do these numbers sound tantalizing, fellas? Mm -hmm. Give me mine with a side of beans and cornbread. <laughs> right chip, chip plays with a chip, and that's the kind of rage and focus one needs to be a three-time Super Bowl champion. Uh-huh, and when it happens on the field, and not at a Costco, it is fun to watch. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, I love it. It is, it is fun. fun. Sweetness. Well, okay. Uh, Folks, we're about to get to last night's highlights, but uh, first we have some reports uh, that there's some evidence suggesting NFL's leading rusher, Montel Jordan Jackson, has been putting dirty syringes in candy bars that he hands out at Halloween. Guys? Strange, strange reports coming out of Bristol today. It's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. It's a damn shame that we still have stuff like this in 2016. It's unacceptable. Absolutely. Unacceptable. But let me tell you, when I see that man go out there and put up 225 mm, yards against the best rush uh, defense in the country, I say he must be crazy. Uh, he's a maniac. maniac. He need to be committed the way he's been running, averaging <laughs> 6.5 yards a carry in the league of the National Football League. That man has my vote for MVP in the way he's running up the middle. I already knew he was a homicidal maniac. He's a maniac. maniac. <laughs> you, 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 you don't think these reports overshadow his incredible play? See, 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 Jay, Jay, you got to separate the Stone Cold Killer on the field from the Stone Cold Killer on Halloween night. I got to separate them. I'm talking about the one on the field. Montel, I want you to kill on the field. Kill on the field, baby. But <laughs> only on the field. Okay. Only on the field, Montel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you've heard it here, folks. Uh, apparently, killing is all right on the field. That's right. Okay. Well, we're going to move on to some even more disturbing news from the AP that the current head coach of Dallas, Tim Calloway, and uh, this is a hard one, folks, uh, has been identified as the second in command of the Islamic State. That's right, folks, ISIS. Now, fellas, <laughs> this is a huge surprise coming out of Dallas this morning. Uh, what should be the NFL's next step. This is a dark day for American sports. I will leave the set, Jerry. I will leave the set. You don't tell me this untrue. Tell me it's untrue, Jerry. Uh, tell me it's untrue. I'm, I'm, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Now, Jerry, I can't. I can't. Jerry, Jerry this, this is unfathomable. Now, there should be no place, no place for Islamic extremism in the league, in the National Football League. Now, ISIS represents violence and carnage. There's no place for violence and carnage in this league. Mm -mm. Good people to Dallas, you deserve better. You deserve a better coach who serves a better God. And there is absolutely nothing else to be said about this subject. Nothing. Nothing! All right, well, finally getting into the Except last one thing that must be said besides. All of the controversy and all of the beheadings. I'm wondering, we thinking the same thing. Uh -huh. Now, when you look at the way that Coach Callaway has revolutionized the game from a coaching standpoint, mm -hmm. well, then I think you understand why our boys are having such a hard time stopping these guys in the field. Because when you look at those blitz schemes mm -hmm. that he's throwing at them, they should be classified as nothing more than state-sponsored terrorism. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dipper, you all up in my brain. I would think the same thing. <laughs> that type of leadership at the helm looking me in the eyes and telling me to go out there and conquer the world, you know what? You'd have this good southern Christian boy screaming out, Allah Akbar! <laughs> Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! In the name of Jesus! <laughs> That's it to the infidels who cannot protect their quarterback and win on special teams. Yeah! <laughs> 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 
Tuesday. Oh, 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 folks. Oh, 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 oh. Remember, if it's Tuesday, Dude, it's no, no football, no problem. These guys are out of their mind. Subscribe, you son of a bitch!